one of the first mistakes with record retention that we see is just not knowing what records you need to keep. Um, you know, records, you know, can be fiscal records, you've got tax records, you've got legal records, administrative, human resource, there's so many different types of records that you've got to get your hands around. Um, so, you know, identifying all of those is the first piece and then knowing what format are those records in. Are they paper? Are they digital? So much is digital now. Um, emails, you know, you've got to consider all those different types. So just first step is getting your hands around what the records of your business or your organization look like. If you have records that you have concern that you've accidentally lost or disposed of prior to that time, um, there's several different things you can do. Um, a lot of times companies that we see are moving towards digitizing all, their, uh, you know, all of their records, even their paper records. Um, so that gives you an additional security knowing what those backups look like and keeping those additional backups. Um, that would minimize your risk. Record retention, the storage of your records, is critical. So many times um, when companies keep paper records, nobody wants them in their offices. And so you'll see where you know, a company says, oh yeah, I've got a great idea. You know, the building management said, I can put them in the basement. There, I don't have to deal with them. And then what happens? Mother Nature comes through, pipe breaks, flood happens, and your records are lost. So the security of your records and knowing where your records are and making sure that you have, you have those properly backed up and secured is critical and can often be a mistake that companies you know just don't think about so um, I mean if the IRS comes in you're not gonna have six months to probably go find a record or if a subpoena comes in you're not gonna have the luxury of digging through boxes or looking through electronic files for weeks upon end so you want to make sure you've got a process in place that not only organizes those backup documents or those records that you're you're having to you're having to hold on to, but also you know the security around that. Um, common issue that we see related to record retention with uh, with businesses is nobody knows what the policy is. Nobody knows how long they're supposed to keep something or what they're supposed to do with it or who they're supposed to give it to. And um, you know you you have exposure from not keeping something long enough and needing it to even the exposure of keeping something for too long. So having a written policy, um, having an easy to follow policy, and having a policy that's communicated um, to everyone within the organization that can touch any of those different types of documents that we've talked about, HR, administrative, fiscal, um, all those different types of documents, everybody knowing what that policy is and how they need to manage the documents that they, that they have possession of and what needs to be done with that. Thank you.